Hey, what's good? I'm Coach Colin Castell. In today's video, I'm gonna tell you why short players don't score the basketball and how they can. All right, if you're not scoring as many points as you'd like, watch the end of this video because I got something for you 100% free that you're not gonna wanna miss that will help you score more points almost immediately. All right, so first to help you score more points, especially if you're a shorter player, is to manipulate your defender on the catch. Cameraman Jake, come up here a little bit. I'm gonna pretend like you're the defender. As I spin the ball and I'm catching a pass, a lot of times players will catch it They'll kind of hold it for like a half second and then they'll try to react and do what they want to do. But a lot of times what happens is that gives the defender a moment to catch up. And if you're a shorter player, any moment you give up is a moment that you need and is super crucial because you don't have the height to make up for it, right? So what you want to do is manipulate the defender on the catch. Now you can do this a few different ways. I can catch it and pass fake. That's a manipulation. I'm getting the defender to slide. I can catch it and jab step. That'll get the defender to either stop short on their clothes or slide to cut me off. I can catch it and immediately pump fake. That's gonna get the defender to close space and come at me. So just get used to every single time you catch the ball, pumping, jabbing, or faking. If you do one of those three things, I promise you, you're gonna move the defender, you're gonna be moving with an advantage at that point because they're out of position, and you need everything you can get, especially if you're a shorter player. All right, the next key is to take the first look you get. I see it all the time. Smaller players, you know, kind of hunt and peck and they look for the right opportunity, and then they end up, you know, not taking the one that they should have. So think about it like this. If you're a shorter player, you don't have the margin of error to like work a bunch of times with a bunch of dribbles and try to get somebody by. Once you get space, you've got to either take the shot or you got to get to the rack, right? So think about it like this. I see it all the time. A player will start their drive, they'll get like some separation for like a step back, and they'll have this open jumper, but instead they'll kind of wait for a second, the defender will get, you know, kind of reset, and then they'll try to go at him again. If you're a shorter player, you've got to take the first available opportunity. If you're playing one-on-one, -on -one, this is a great way to check. If you're not getting a shot up in like one Mississippi or two Mississippi, you're probably taking too much time, right? Because if you're a shorter player, you got to be efficient. You got to take the first good look that you get because 99% of the time, if you pass up the first look you get, your second one's gonna be worse because the taller players and their length are gonna be able to recover. You're not gonna get that opportunity again. So just think about it. It doesn't matter if you're coming out of a step back, if you hit a hezzy and you start to go, you wanna commit and take the first available option as fast as possible. All right, and the next key is you can't be one dimensional. Too many players rely on one skill. They think, oh, I'm good at ball handling, so I'm gonna to try to blow by people. Or, oh, I'm good at shooting. I'm gonna be the guy who's lights out. But the problem is if you're a shorter player, you're gonna need all the tools in the tool bag. That way you can shoot the shot if you get the separation. That way you can blow by somebody if they're a little bit slower than you, right? So if you're one dimensional as a shorter player, I can promise you your road and your playing career will be short. That's just the only, you know, kind of two ways about it. You've got to be multifaceted. You gotta be able to finish in the trees. You gotta be able to hit separation out of mid range. You gotta be lights out from three. So you gotta train your whole game, especially if you're shorter. So I can help you out with that. Click the link in the description down below to get free instant access to my Insta Buckets workout. This is a quick, compact workout I put together to help you score more points no matter what size you are. And it's 100% free. All right, if you're new to Shot Mechanics, hit that subscribe button, ding the bell notification. That way you're getting all of our videos as soon as they come out. That way you can be out lights out just like me. Bam! And then once you do that, head to the comment section down below and let me know what sort of video you want to see next. This is a channel for the people, by the people. We run pretty much everything off a request, so leave it down below and hopefully I'll be able to get to it. Again, I'm Coach Colin Castello, Shot Mechanics. Thanks for watching and until next time, splash on. Let's go!